The Portland Diamond Project on Monday had their first big press release since back in January of 2024, and this social media post was them stating that they have signed a formal letter of intent to purchase Zydell Yards, which is a 33-acre parcel on the south side of downtown Portland, which is a former shipyard and a new potential site for a Portland baseball team. Here is the official statement from Craig Cheek, who is the founder and president of the Portland Diamond Project. He states, this really is a dream come true. We've spent years talking about a future Major League Baseball team calling Portland home. Now we can say Portland will have professional baseball in the heart of the city along one of Oregon's most iconic rivers. Following the social media posts, I got texts, comments on videos, other people reaching out asking, hey, is, is Portland officially going to have an MLB team? Because this statement makes it sound like that is the case. Well, that is not quite true. Over the years, the Portland Diamond Project has announced various potential sites where they could have a baseball team if MLB were to expand into Portland. The most recent idea, as I mentioned back in January of 2024, when they announced that they were in negotiations to purchase the Red Tail Golf Center, which is just outside of Portland around Beaverton. But it seems that those negotiations had fallen through and this Zidel Yards is the new potential location if MLB were to expand into Portland. Before we get further into it, if I haven't met you yet, my name is Connor Webb. I'm a full-time mortgage broker during the day in the Pacific Northwest. I actually live 25, 30 minutes north of Portland. And when I'm not making videos talking about Pacific Northwest sports, I'm helping my clients figure out the best financing options for their home purchase. And if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing a property in Washington, Oregon, or Idaho, then make sure to reach out. My contact information will be in the description of this video. And for more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get into it. Here are some snippets from the Oregon Live article which reports on the details of this agreement. On Monday night, the Portland Diamond Project characterized its agreement as a letter of intent to buy the former shipyard which covers 33 acres along the Willamette River. Project officials will have 120 days to conduct due diligence on the site. The group then has three and a half years to purchase the land. Thinking back a bit, the Diamond Project previously signed a deal that gave it negotiating rights for the Port of Portland's Terminal 2, which is a little used marine dock north of downtown Portland, but it let that agreement lapse without moving ahead. It also previously offered $80 million to buy the Portland Public Schools headquarters on Portland's east side before pulling that offer. And then most recently, the group offered $30 million to buy the Red Tail Golf Center, which is owned by the city of Portland, but located outside city limits near Beaverton. It says the group previously considered Zittel Yards in 2019 too, and was in talks with the owners of the Lloyd Center Mall. And then Jay Zidell, president of Zidell Companies, said in a statement Monday that selling the acreage was right for his family. He stated, I think the potential for a future professional baseball stadium is an ideal use of the land. Who wouldn't want to watch baseball with the Willamette River as a backdrop? This article then states that the stadium news comes after Portlanders learned last week that professional women's basketball would soon, soon return to the city with the WNBA awarded an expansion team scheduled to begin playing in 2026. While it is promising to hear an update from the Portland Diamond Project after nine months of going radio silent, after potentially wanting to buy the Red Tail Golf Course, the Portland Diamond Project and Portland in general are still a ways away from MLB actually choosing them to become a new MLB franchise. Another city on the west side of the United States that I think has a good shot of getting one of those MLB expansion teams is Salt Lake City in Utah. I think Nashville, Tennessee is gonna be a lock on the east side of the country, but there is still the potential of Portland landing an expansion franchise or having a franchise that is relocating such as the Oakland A's, perhaps the Tampa Bay Rays, to end up calling Portland home. At the end of the day, the Oakland A's don't have anything completely official with Las Vegas on moving there. Although that does make the most sense with the Oakland Raiders moving from Oakland to Las Vegas, it would make sense for the A's to follow them to Las Vegas. But again, nothing is currently set in stone. The Oakland A's play their final games in the Coliseum on Thursday after which they will be playing in Sacramento at a minor league stadium for the next three seasons. And as much as I think it is a long shot that Portland would get a team, I would love to see that. I would love to be able to, to cover an expansion franchise. I'm just 25 minutes away from downtown Portland where, where I currently live. And with so much distance being between the Seattle Mariners and the next closest team and the Rockies, the Bay Area teams, the Giants, the A's, it would be pretty cool to have a team that is closer to the Mariners to have a closer, you know, I-5 rivalry. And as we all know, if you live in the area, there's nothing better than a summer in the Pacific Northwest. It would be pretty awesome to have an MLB stadium in downtown Portland with a view of Mount Hood or the Willamette River. So here's an overview of the greater Portland area and the five locations that the Portland Diamond Project have looked at so far as potential sites for a baseball stadium 
if MLB were to move to Portland. You can see up here that the Columbia River splits Oregon and Washington. This is Vancouver, Washington, Salmon Creek up here. This is downtown Portland right down here. If we zoom in, the most recent location that they had been talking about back in January of 2024 was down here in south southwest of Portland in Beaverton, which is Red Tail Golf Center. A few of the other locations that Portland had been talking about were located right off of the Willamette River. This is Terminal 2, which is one of the waterfront locations that they had talked about potentially purchasing. The Portland Public Schools building is located right here. The Lloyd Center they were in talks with as well. And the current location that they're looking at is Ziddle Yards, which is located just down the hill, just east of OHSU which is Oregon Health and Sciences University. And it's also just across the river from OMSI. Now, if we look at the overview of Zydel Yards, this is apparently the 33 acre parcel in question. It is actually kind of split, not down the middle, but more so like a third to two thirds by the Ross Island Bridge and US Highway 26. So this would be a really interesting and unique spot. You would assume that the stadium would have to go on the north side of that the parcel of land. And then on the south end of the parcel, maybe you walk under the bridge, you, you do your pre-gaming there, you have some parking, you walk under the bridge to the north side, which is where the ball game would be happening. Now, assuming that the stadium is on the north side of that Ross Island Bridge, you can see here that the view, depending on where home plate is situated, would be somewhere around a view of Mount Hood to a view of Mount St. Helens and more northeast. And with the stadium located right there, there would also be some sort of view of the Tillicum Crossing Bridge, which is a very unique bridge located in downtown Portland. And then as you swing it around, you have the Willamette River right there. And assuming that the view is of Mount Hood, in the background of the home plate, you would have the Southwest Hills and OHSU. And then of course, depending on where your seats are located, you might just get a view of the beautiful downtown Portland and all of the bridges. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below of the MLB expansion, MLB potentially coming to Portland, WNBA coming to Portland. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates on the Portland Diamond Project, and we'll see you next time.